Okay, good morning students. In the previous class, we have learned about neuron as the basic structural unit of the nervous system. Okay, and we have learned the structure and functions of the neuron too. Today, we are going to learn another important concept on the nervous system. The nervous system controls and coordinates all the activities of our body through impulse transmission or the transmission of messages through the nerves. You know that those messages are called impulses. Now, in today's class, we are going to learn how this impulse is generated and transmitted through the nerves. Okay? Generation and transmission of nerve impulses. Let me ask you a question. What are sense organs or receptor organs? Yes, as you know, the sense organs are the organs that receive stimuli. Okay? When there is an external stimuli that will be received by certain organs which have specialized receptor cells and those organs are called sense organs or receptor organs okay so the sense organs receive stimuli and that will be passed to the brain through the nerves and brain analyzes the stimuli which it receive and gives certain directions back to the effector organs and those organs are the muscles or glands okay for example if you step onto a thorn, the receptor cells on that part of the skin receive stimuli and these stimuli, okay, this, that sense of pain, that will be transmitted through the nerves to the brain. The brain analyzes it and brain finds that, brain understands that the food has to be withdrawn immediately. So what the brain does? The brain gives a direction back to the muscles of the leg so that the leg can be or the food can be withdrawn. Okay. So the muscles of the leg, they are the effectors. So you know that sense organs receive stimuli and these stimuli are passed through the nerves to the brain in the form of impulse. You know that those uh, st the uh, stimuli when they receive stimuli a message is passed to the brain through the nerves and those messages are impulse and also you know that these message messages are in the form of electric charges and as the brain receives the impulse or the message from any part of the body what does the brain do the brain gives back direction to certain organs that may be muscles or glands okay in the case when you step on to a thorn the effector organs effectors are the muscles of the leg okay so when the brain gives direction to the muscles of the leg or then the leg withdraws okay so that is how uh, you respond to that situation another one when uh, you get a good smell of a tasty food that you have already tasted. What happens? The stimulus is the smell of that food and the response. What is the response? Yes, the response is watering of your mouth. So, what are the effectors there? The effector, is that a muscle or a gland? Yes, very good. It's a gland. Okay, the salivary glands in your mouth responded to that sweet, good smell of the food. So how the salivary glands secreted? Okay, saliva. So now you know what are sense organs. Sense organs are the organs that receive stimuli, and effectors are the muscles or glands that respond on receiving impulse from the brain. Okay. So you know what are sense organs and you know what are effectors. Effectors can be muscles or glands. In the case of mouth watering, at the sight or at the smell of a sweet food or a tasty food, okay, the effectors 
are the glands here the salivary gland or when you touch a hot object you withdraw your hand so here the the stimuli it is the heat and the effector the muscles of the hand that withdraw the hand okay so you know now what are sense organs and what are effectors listen up you know you already have learned what is an impulse what is an impulse you know the message that is passed between receptors and brain and between brain and effectors occur in the form of electric charges this is called impulse sandesham evadna nammude grahi kosangalil ninnum talachorilekku mastishkathilekku മസ്തിഷ്കത്തിലേക്ക് മസ്തിഷ്കത്തിൽ നിന്നും മറ്റു എഫക്ടർ ഓർഗൻസിലേക്കും പോകുന്ന സന്ദേശങ്ങൾ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ചാർജസിന്റെ രൂപത്തിലാണ് പോകുന്നത് ആൻഡ് ദോസ് ഇലക്ട്രിക് ചാർജസ് ദോസ് മെസ്സേജസ് ദാറ്റ് പാസ് ഫ്രം ദ റിസെപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ടു ദ ബ്രെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ബ്രെയിൻ ബാക്ക് ടു ദ എഫക്ടേഴ്സ് ഈസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് കാൾ ഇംപൾസ് സോ യു ഷുഡ് നോ വട്ട് ഈസ് ആൻ ഇംപൾസ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഫോംസ് ദ ഇംപൾസ് ആക്ച്വലി വട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഇംപൾസ് ബേസിക്കലി ഓക്കെ the impulses are electric charges okay so the messages that are passed between receptors and brain and between brain and effectors occur in the form of electric charges okay the message that passes through the nerves is in the form of electric charges and those electric charges are called impulses okay so now you know what are sense organs what are effectors what is an impulse okay you got it now listen up. we are going to learn about how the impulse is formed let's see how this impulse is formed in uh, the neurons and how it is transmitted okay engenaana ee impulse aavegam neuronal nadi kosathil undagunnadennum ava engenaana nadi kosathilude preshanam cheyyunnathu ennum aanu nammal padikkan povunnathu for that you need to consider a neuron in its resting condition ഇത് മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നതിന് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് വിശ്രമാവസ്ഥയിലുള്ള ഒരു നാഡികോശത്തെ മനസ്സിൽ കാണണം ഓക്കെ ലിസണ ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇമ്പോൾസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു കൺസിഡർ എ റെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ന്യൂറോൺ വിശ്രമാവസ്ഥയിലുള്ള ഒരു ന്യൂറോൺ ലിസണ ഇൻ എ റെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ന്യൂറോൺ ഡ്യൂ ടു ദി ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇൻ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഇൻ എ റെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ന്യൂറോൺ due to the difference in distribution of ions the outer surface of the cell membrane is positively charged listen from here this is the part of an axon see you can see, see here a nerve cell a neuron and this is the cell membrane of the neuron the cell membrane on the part of the axon okay this is shown here so that part of the neuron is shown here let be en- enlarged okay so in a resting neuron you have to keep in mind that the outer surface of the cell membrane okay the cell this is a cell membrane the outer surface is positively charged and its inner surface is negatively charged here you can see here the outer surface of the the nerve cell okay nerve cells the cell membrane of the nerve cell or plasma membrane neural lemma of the axon is positively charged and inner surface is negatively charged okay what is, why is that that is because of the difference in distribution of ions listen up in a resting neuron consider the cell membrane outside the cell membrane there is positive charge and inside the membrane there is negative charge and in when you go to your high classes in class 11 uh, you will study there this is due to the difference in distribution of sodium and potassium ions and sodium potassium pump okay so uh, you will study that later but now you have to keep in mind only this much in your resting neuron the outer surface of the plasma membrane is positively charged and the inner surface is negatively charged and that condition is said to be polarized that means in a resting neuron the neuron the cell membrane is polarized okay this is an additional knowledge the polarization okay it is polarized 
that means there is charge okay charge difference on the outer surface and inner surface so keep in mind the first step in a rusting neuron due to the difference in distribution of ions outer surface of the cell membrane of the neuron is positively charged and inner surface is negatively charged don't forget it okay that is the first thing you need to keep in mind now let's see when stimulated second step okay second point you need to keep in mind when stimulated see look at here on this neuron it was already positively charged here the whole outer surface was positively charged now here there occurred an imp there occurred a stimulus when stimulated what happens okay when stimulated the charge on the outer surface of the membrane at that part becomes negative at that point become negative it was already positive charge on the outer surface okay now when stimulated here there occurred a stimulus so at that point of stimulation what happened the charge on the outer surface became negative and the inner surface became positive okay number one the first point is in a rusting neuron the outer surface of the plasma membrane is positive and inner surface is negative okay outer surface is positive and inner surface is negative now second point when stimulated when there is a stimulus occur at the point of stimulus okay at the point of stimulation the outer surface becomes negative and the inner surface become positive now this is what is called depolarization we i have already mentioned uh, the original condition is polarized state now there is a change due to stimulus it is depolarized it is also an additional knowledge you can keep it those ones to keep in mind you can keep it others you can just leave it okay so first two points you know okay now the second one is when stimulated at that point of stimulation there occurs a change in the charge the outer surface at that point become negative and the inner surface become positive clear now we can go to the next point listen up this change in charge it is momentary ah avada charge illa vyathyasam illai or stimulus vannappol ee plasma membrane de porame negative aayi agathu positive aayi adu valare naimishigamaanu manasilayile that change in the charge it is momentary okay and that momentary charge difference stimulates the next part thotta adutha bhagathe adu change stimulate him and that part okay also reverses the the charge there occurs a change in charge there adyam ee bhagathu or stimulation undayappol avade a charge inde vidharanathil vyathyasam undayi ivade adyam positive negative aayirunnu സ്റ്റിമുലസ് വന്നപ്പോൾ അവിടെ എന്താ സംഭവിച്ചത് ഇവിടെ കണ്ടില്ലേ സ്റ്റിമുലസ് വന്നപ്പോൾ അവിടെ പുറമെ നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയി വെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റിമുലേറ്റഡ് ദ ഔട്ടർ സർഫസ് ബിക്കം നെഗറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഇന്നർ സർഫസ് ബിക്കം പോസിറ്റീവ് ബട്ട് ഐ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മൊമെന്ററി ദിസ് ചാർജ് ഡിഫറൻസ് ഡസൻ ഡസൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് ലോങ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മൊമെന്ററി ഇറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ എ ഫ്യൂ സെക്കൻഡ്സ് ഓ ഓർ ഇറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ നോട്ട് ഈവൻ എ ഫ്യൂ സെക്കൻഡ്സ് ഫ്രാക്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് എ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓൺലി ഫോർ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് എ സെക്കൻഡ് and this momentary charge difference stimulates the next region so the change occurs there too that is shown here in this picture see here that charge difference was momentary so that charge difference momentary charge difference stimulated the next point to change the charge okay so listen up here this momentary charge difference stimulates the adjacent part and similar change occur there too at the same time the charge on the previous part get reversed at the same time what happens the charge on the previous the first stimulated part got reversed and it retains its original condition okay keep it in mind number point number 1 is in a rusting neuron okay the in a rusting neuron the charge 
on the outer surface of the plasma membrane is positive and inner surface it is negative keep that in mind next when stimulated when there is a stimulus at the point of stimulation the charge on the outer surface become negative and the charge on the inner surface become positive only at that point okay and this charge difference is very momentary it lasts for only a certain fractions of a second it, it, it doesn't last for long okay so this momentary charge difference stimulates the next point and the charge difference occurs there too listen to the next picture see here now the next the charge difference move to the next point this momentary charge difference stimulates the adjacent part and similar change occur there too ivide undai okay this momentary change in charge is called an impulse ingane undaguna naimishigamaya charge vedhyanamana or impulse nu parayunnu manasilayile ivide or impulse undai aa impulse totta adutha bhagathe stimulate avade impulse undai palaya bhagathich purva sidhilathi okay now what happens this here it is momentary it stimulates the next part and this part becomes okay it regains its original condition okay see listen up here the next part becomes okay uh, charge there the, okay is so a charge difference and the uh, the previous part regained its original condition and this process continues and that is how the impulse got transmitted through the neuron or the axon okay listen up the point number 1 you need to keep in mind it is that in a resting neuron the charge on the outer surface of the plasma membrane is positive and that on the inner surface is negative point number 2 when there occurs a stimulus okay at the point of stimulus the charge on the outer surface become negative and that on the inner surface become positive next point you need to keep in mind is this charge difference is very momentary this momentary charge difference it is an impulse actually it stimulates the adjacent part next part so this charge difference occurs here that means this portion becomes negative and here inside becomes positive and this portion regains its original condition at the pare purva sidile tingin see here the next point become negative on the out, out, outer surface and positive on the inner surface and the previous point regains its original condition now this charge difference here it is momentary it stimulates the next part okay it stimulates the next part let's up here and that part becomes negative outside and positive inside so the impulse that has formed here move to this then move to this okay it is just moving forward as this charge difference moves from one part of the neuron to the other the impulse get transmitted this is how the impulse is transmitted you all got it okay i hope you got it now let's up here here there is an activity given for you this type of activity can can be asked for your sslc exam several times it has been asked so the question is arrange the following events during the formation and transmission of nerve impulse in the order of their occurrence manasilayile neuronilude ulla nadiya peshanam അതിൻ്റെ അതുണ്ടാകുന്ന അതിൻ്റെ ഓർഡറിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ക്രമീകരിക്കാൻ ഇവിടെ തന്നിരിക്കുന്നു ഒന്നാമത് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്ലാസ്മ മെമ്പ്രൈൻ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ബിക്കംസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ബിക്കംസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റിമുലേറ്റ് സിമിലർ ചേഞ്ച് ഓൺ ദ പ്ലാസ്മ മെമ്പ്രൈൻ ഓഫ് ദ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ന്യൂറോൺ ആസ് ദ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ചാർജ് പ്രൊസീഡ്സ് ഇമ്പൾസ് ഗെറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്മിറ്റഡ് വെൻ എ സ്റ്റിമുലസ് റീച്ചസ് ആർ എ പോയിന്റ് ഓൺ ദ ന്യൂറോൺ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ദിസ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇസ് മൊമെൻറ്ററി the next one is plasma membrane has a positive charge on the outer surface and a negative charge on the inner surface ee thannirikkuna kaaryangale ningal onnu kramapadanam appo aalochichu nokku you just consider keep in your mind you consider just recall what happened you know what we have explained the first 
I, I have already asked you to keep that in mind. First, what is the condition of a resting neuron? Okay, what is that? The plasma membrane has a positive charge on the outer surface and a negative charge on the inner surface. Is that the first one? Yes. So the first point, the first one should be this. Okay, plasma starathinde purame positive charge um agame negative charge um aanu oru visramavasthayilulla neuron inde okay ini adutha endanu okay when a stimulus reaches at a point on the neuron when a stimulus reaches at a point on the neuron oru stimulus verumbole udhipikkapadumbole endu sambhavikkum outside of the plasma membrane at that point becomes negative and inside become positive so this one is the first one second one is when a stimulus reaches and third one outside of the plasma membrane at that point of the stimulus becomes negative and the inside becomes positive okay now what is the next this charge difference is momentary very good this change is momentary so what happens this momentary change in charge that uh, what happens it stimulates similar change on the plasma membrane of the adjacent point of the neuron neuron inde tottadutha bhagathe plasma membrane le adhe polulla change adu stimulate cheyum udhipikkum okay now what is the next one as the change in charge proceeds impulse get transmitted so this is the last one as the change in charge proceeds impulse get transmitted appo ningale idu nokkittu you have to read this and you take your notebook and arrange this events in the order of their occurrence adu nadakkana sambhavikkuna adinte kramathile okay adu ningal arrange cheyunu ningal ezhudana it is very important activity it can be asked for your exam if you are able to arrange this events in the correct order of their occurrence uh, you, i'm sure that you are good with the concept okay you are done with the concept okay okay we shall repeat once more first so what we are going to discuss is the uh, how the impulse is formed how it is generated and how it is transmitted so before that you know what are receptors what are sense organs what are effectors okay in different situations of impulse and response or in stimulus and response you know what is the receptor organ and what is the effector okay so here then you know what is an impulse an impulse is formed of electric charges now i told you when you consider when you are talking about how the impulse is generated and how it is transmitted first you need to consider a resting neuron in a resting neuron the outer surface of the plasma membrane is positive and inner surface negative that is the first point second when there is a stimulus or when there is a stimulation the outer surface at that point of stimulation becomes negative and inside becomes positive okay now third point this charge difference is very momentary it won't last for long so what happens this momentary change stimulates the next portion and next point becomes okay there the outer surface become negative and inner surface becomes positive and here the previous point regains its original condition see here okay the previous point regained its original condition and the next point okay got a change in charge now what happens this is again momentary it stimulates the next point see it stimulated the next point now there in the next point there occurs a change in charge and the previous portion it regains its original condition as this charge difference proceeds from one part of the neuron to the other the impulse get transmitted okay this is how impulse transmission occurs okay afterwards you need to write this activity in your notebook and you need to arrange this events of the formation and transmission of nerve impulse in the right order of their occurrence okay i hope you all got the concept of impulse generation and its transmission through the nerves okay 
Thank you very much.